everybody, welcome back to Project Happy Home. For those of you who are new here, I'm Tanya, a doctor, lawyer, turned homeschool mom of three kids ages 10, 7, and 5. In today's video, I'll be talking to you a little bit about a logic book that I love called Can You Find Me by the Critical Thinking Company for grades K through 1. Now this book comes in a preschool level as well, and I will talk about that in a different video. If you're interested in videos about secular homeschooling, raising a child with ADHD, and living a more essentialist lifestyle, you have come to the right place, so be sure to hit that subscribe button down below the video. Now this book by The Critical Thinking Company is awesome, one, because you don't have to write in it. You could, I suppose, but if you have several children, you can use this for every single one of them and just do it verbally with them. So it goes through reading, math, science, and social studies. I really regard it more as like a logical thinking book. So for example, you have a sample lesson here. I'm a little poem that rhymes. I have four long legs and a long neck too. My skin has many spots and you see me at the zoo. Of the three things that you see, tell me now, can you find me? Now, if you have an older child who can read well already, for example, if you're doing this in first grade, they could probably read it on their own and do it on their own and circle, etc. I actually just do these out loud well before they can read these rhymes on their own. So this one I used in kindergarten for my middle daughter and my youngest. My son was already too old by the time I found this book. But it's really cute because they all rhyme, so they're fun to say with them. I'm showing four fingers. My two hands are raised high. My shoes have six eyelets each and laces that I must tie. Of the three people that you see, tell me now, can you find me? So in general, I'll read it one or two times until they can figure it out themselves. And I'm just going to flip through this quite quickly for you so you can get an idea of the different types of numbers that are here. It's very quick and cute. My girls both love doing it. In general, we would do several pages at once, and it was just really fun. A lot of it has to do with logical thinking about patterns, about combinations. You do get to practice things like bar graphs. Here you have patterns and relationships between less and more. Here you have the opportunity to talk about things like coins or fractions. Bill ate part of the apple, then left half for his friend Jim. Jim ate half of what was left and saved the rest for Tim. There's Venn diagrams here. Again, relating this type of fraction to real life with half a cookie. Different types of shapes in reality. There's the concept that if you need two oranges to fill a glass, how many more do you need to fill the other ones? I like that you approach a lot of different concepts. So here you have metamorphosis without beating them over the head with different types of facts. So it's a really fun, lighthearted kind of book that you can go through sitting next to each other and just problem solving together. Even if you didn't use this as your curriculum book, this would be a fun book just to have on hand, like in the car as a fun problem solving book or to do them at night when you do nighttime reading. It's very colorful. It's very swift. Here you have some phonics where you say tie and turtle. The first sound is the same. Say tent and toaster. What is this letter's name? So very great appropriate to kindergarten and learning short, you know, CVC words or consonant vowel, consonant words like pot and hop. There's some rhyming words, like rhyming words have the same sound, words like found, mound, pound, and round. Look for a word like hope and slope, a word below that rhymes with rope. There's end of the word sounds. There's also little stories and they have to figure out which picture would match that story. There's colors. It is the color of a cloudless skies, a pond and a lake in my best friend's eyes. I like that the quality of the writing is also nice and uh, poetic and rhymy. Um, there's also answers in the back and a math skills matrix. So for money practice, for example, you could go and find problems 20. Um, for more or less, there's several more problems. For shape recognition, there's about six problems or seven problems. Spatial position. There's also thinking skills like classification, similarity, sequence, analogy, and logic. Uh, in general, I think this is a great introduction to logic, particularly when you don't want to add another writing workbook to your child's curricula and you just want to like build these thinking skills, these on the spot thinking skills. You can find this book both on Amazon and at the Critical Thinking Company website. So I will link both of those down below. As always, you guys, thank you for spending some time with me. I really do appreciate it and I wish you the very best day.